Hi, my beautiful Pisces. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. Also, Cross Watchers. This is going to be Virgo dealing with Pisces, Pisces dealing with Virgo. For some of you guys, if my cross watchers are watching and it's Virgo, it might be in reverse for you. This might be what Pisces is doing to you. That's okay. What I need for you guys to do is to hit that thumbs up button. Okay. I thank you so much, you guys. I'm very grateful for you guys to be a part of my channel. If you want me to continue to put out these specific sign readings for monthly readings for the specific sign that Pisces are dealing with, I need you to hit that thumbs up button. Um, depending on how many likes and how many guys, uh, how many of you guys are uh, interested in this reading is going to be depending on how I continue to put these readings out. So let's get into this energy. Virgo, this person, I mean Pisces, this person, um, I do feel like the overall energy that they have for you is the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm seeing somebody who's really focused on work. They're working really hard right now in the month of October. They could really, really be focusing on some type of job or projects here that they're doing because they're trying to accumulate something in some way. It could be finances, wealth. Um, they're really, really focused on a project that they want or something that they're trying to fix. They could be trying to fix on something here, uh, maybe in their home, maybe some type of project. They're working on something because they're trying to achieve um uh, something really big here. Okay. I do see that. So they're putting a lot of work into something here that they're trying to achieve. Um, I do get that in the current moment. This person is not really, I don't know. It seems like they're not finding the time to give you, uh, some type of emotional, uh, offer or they're not, they're, they're not finding the time to have this emotional connection with you in that way. Um, this is somebody who's just too busy with or too consumed with something um, that they have going on for themselves um, that they may be going through, that they may be trying to obtain. And I feel like they're not having this equal give and take in love with you. They're not finding the time to put in some type of um, uh, to be to put this emotional uh, connection here uh, with you uh, into work, into practice. Um, I do feel like. What's challenging them, though, again, this person is really having a lot on their mind. They're probably really trying to get some stuff done here. But what's challenging this person is them. So they're getting in their own way of possibly having a connection with you, too. I feel like this hermit here being here right here is this person does want to. Um, I feel like they're withdrawing from you in some way. They could be pulling away, withdrawing from you, maybe even withdrawing from, if you have a family with this person, maybe they may be withdrawing from the family, the children, the kids. They're not really um, finding time here with you. Uh, this is someone who's kind of like pulling away from, um, they're pulling away from the connection, the love, the emotions, the family, the children. They're pulling away from something like this, family and friends. Um, and they're consuming themselves with something here that they're working on in some type of project here. Um, yeah, I feel like their time and their energy is really into something. Um, I feel like some of you guys may feel like this person is not giving you the attention that you want. But in reality, I feel like they're not giving anyone attention in that way. Um This person is so focused on something. They're like, they're fearful of something here falling apart or they're fearful in something here like, um, like exploding or messing up or just, you know, falling apart here. So they are kind of like on the edge on something. They're really like really, really fearful or, uh, really feeling very, uh, yeah, physically worried and about something falling apart for them. Uh, in regards to you. So they're really at work on a situation. Um, maybe for some of you guys, this is not even about you, but they're fearful of some type of something here, uh, a separation or something here falling apart. There's two women in this reading. I'm seeing the Empress here in the Queen of Cups. So for some of you guys, this Virgo could be dealing with two different women. You could be one and this could be a baby mama or another woman, or this could be even masculine energy here. In the current month, what's challenging What's challenging here is this hermit, though. This hermit is really feeling like, I feel like they're pulling, it's weird. This I feel like this hermit could be pulling away from you and this other person, but they're more headed in your direction. They're more interested or coming towards you. It could be two different women here, I don't know, or two different men, whatever, there's, there's, two different energies here. Um, it looks like this Virgo is really pulling away from um, like a, a baby mother or a baby father or someone from their past.
this could be you. I feel like this person is not really wanting to have some type of growth and abundance. I feel like they're not having some type of growth and abundance here um, or an equal give and take in love here. They're not putting their love and emotion into a situation. I just get this energy where someone is like, I don't want to be here. They're pulling away. And I feel like this Virgo is not really feeling abundant in a situation. I feel like outside influencing what they want is the Ace of Wands. So they could want a new passion to start with you or they could want something very passionate here. Um, it looks like someone who's feeling like they want to start all over or they want to have, they want to find some type of passion outside of a situation that they don't feel. They don't feel like the situation is growing in the way that they want. They don't see the situation being abundant or growing the way that they want. So like someone's trying to find passion. They're trying to have a new passion to start to find something passionate outside of their situation. Like they're trying to find something that they're passionate about. For some of you guys, um, because I see two people here, it could be, they could have like, someone grew some type of interest to you. Um, I feel like in the past, they, the Ace of Pentacles, this person was definitely trying, having a new opportunity here with you. Um, you and this person could have probably met at work, something centered around a career, a project, a hobby, an interest. But I do feel like in the past, this person definitely wanted some type of abundance with you here. Um, <clears throat> there was an offer. Maybe there was an offer here. Um, somebody was definitely being very interested or someone was interested here in the month of October. A lot of interest here was being shown. I do feel like the best case scenario is a four of wands in reverse. So this person is really like... I don't know who this person is, Pisces, but they could be having some home problems, issues within their stability, their home. They are having a lot of issues here with their family, um, their home life. It feels like it's really unstable. Um, and they could have been trying to look or search for something outside of that uh, with you, or they're, they're searching outside of the situation. If you're married or with this person and they're looking outside of the situation for uh, a new passionate start, something, a hobby, like, you know, something that's... Uh, <clears throat> Something that's going to excite them because they're looking for excitement. Um, this is a feeling of growing bored in some way. So someone is growing bored of a situation. They feel like someone here is not. It's like almost like, okay, this person is not getting dressed up like they used to. They're not taking care of themselves like they used to. They're not getting sexy for me like they used to. Like that type of energy. Uh, I do feel like this person um, in the month of October, they, uh, they may not be coming together are coming around a lot, or um, making themselves noticeable, or seeming like they want to be around as much. They may really not be showing a lot of love and affection and emotions. Um, if they're not doing this to you, Pisces, and this is exactly what's going on uh, with the person that they're dealing with, um, they're, it's like they're always finding an opportunity here to be away from the family instead of being close to the family, um, finding a way to leave the house, <clears throat> they're very like emotional wise it feels like they could be a little distance someone could also be like it feels like they're taking um their interest maybe from someone else and they're putting that into you but for some of you guys um i do feel like this person right now uh it just looks like they're having a lot of instability here okay And it's weird because they're trying to offer something. They're trying to have a new beginning within this, within the instability that they're having um, within their foundation, their stability of their home. I feel like the best case scenario, though, is that this person is not going to be... It, they're, they're either going to, like, stop communicating with you, withdraw in some way. They're going to block communication. The communication is going to dwindle down in regards to the opportunity here that they uh, presented to you. At one point, like, I feel like the opportunity here is going to kind of like, it's still going to be on the table, but they're going to be talking less and less about it. So there's an opportunity, there's something big here that this person maybe was planning or trying to um, move towards with you. But I feel like um, slowly, like this fly is bothering me, I feel like um, they're, it's like dwindling down where they're not no longer communicating about this opportunity. Um, they're no longer really, you know, expressing themselves about it. Yeah, this person is losing interest. They lose interest very quickly. This is somebody who loses interest very quickly in certain things, certain people, situations. <laughs> it's like on to the next one. They're moving on to something. 
Um, they're very withdrawn from you. They're not communicating or talking to you or expressing themselves in some way. I feel like the way you're coming towards this person is the Queen of Cups here. So I feel like you, you, you're still kind of like open to something here with this person emotionally. Um, but you may not be expressing it either. Like you're open to something here. You're open emotionally. You care. You love this person. You have feelings for this person in some way. Um, you know, you're still interested in something here. Your emotions here is definitely open. Your heart is open. You're, you're interested and you're open for something, um, for this person to kind of like come towards you in some way, but you are not really expressing. You're not communicating. You may even block this person, but you're not expressing it. You're, you're at the point where you're like, I'm not going to keep asking. I'm not going to keep begging. I'm not going to keep putting myself out there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep like expressing myself or saying the same thing over and over again. Like how many times do I have to say this or how many times do I have to put it out there? Like you're not going to keep doing that for this person, even though you do care in some way or your emotions are open in some way to this person or your feelings are still kind of, you still have feelings and emotions. You're just not going to put yourself out there in that way. It's like, I'm here when you're ready. If I like, I'm here, I'm here, but I'm not going to physically put myself out there and continue to, you know, pr try to progress um, if you're not seeing me, because you feel like this person doesn't see you. Uh, it's like they don't look at you the same. They're not paying you attention like that. Um, so you're like, I'm here when I'm here. Like, I'm here anytime, but I'm not going to, like, put myself out there. I'm not going to be, like, communicating and saying things over and over again for you to hear it. The way they're coming towards you, the four swords. So this, to me, is like a break. They're taking a break from you, um, a rest, relaxation. Um, I don't know. It's like, I'm also, I just, I'm hearing losing interest. Like there's a loss of interest or like someone's losing interest here. So they're losing interest here in the situation here. I don't see this person as someone who's taking a break from you. Um, or, yeah. <laughs> the way they're taking their break is they're pulling away. They're kind of withdrawing. But it's weird because they're like, they're still fearful about the separation. They're still like, I don't know. This is weird because they kind of, they're looking like, um, They're still looking like they want to put effort and work into this situation. It's like they don't want to break up, but at the same time, they're losing interest. They don't want to, they don't want to, um, they don't want to just stop something here. They're, they're afraid of like, they're afraid of this thing actually happening, like the separation actually happening, like no longer having the separation actually being a physical thing. Uh, but mentally, uh, spiritually, they're not connecting to you in the way that they want. Um, they may not physically or spiritually, I'm sorry, connecting to the other person. And they may be spiritually and physically connected to you, Pisces. Um, but they may be fearful of breaking up with the other person. That's for some of you guys who need to hear that. They could have a baby mama, a wife, a husband, or a baby daddy, and they feel very drawn or spiritually connected to you. Um, but they may be not feeling that with the other person, but they're still fearful of separating or a separation. I don't, I'm not sure if they're ready for that. And if this is you, if they're dealing with you physically, um, again, they're grown, they have grown disinterested or uh, it's like someone who doesn't fix their hair. They don't get dressed anymore. They don't do the things they used to do. So I feel like they're, um, they're disconnecting from you in some way. Okay, they're disconnecting, they're pulling away, they're disconnected from you, or they're growing uninterested. And you do have a lot of love and emotions here, but you're not going to continue to express yourself and communicate. And I feel like this person needs to speak up. Because maybe they're not, I don't know if they told you this, but maybe they need to speak up and maybe they need to say this. Maybe they need to say this or tell you this, what they want. Because someone here has gotten into the mother role with the Six of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups. Someone here has gotten into just being a mother. 
but someone needs more than just you being a mother. They need something spicy here. They need you to spice something up or whatever, honey. Because outside influences, they want a new passion to start, okay? They want passion. And they could be trying to find passion within another situation or someone else. I feel like what's in their hopes and fears when it comes to use the Four of Cups. Opportunities, missed opportunities here. Just no longer being interested. Like, I'm no longer interested. I no longer want it. <clears throat> Emotionally, their hopes and fears could also have to do with, like, them feeling like... Um, it, it has a lot to do with someone being self-absorbed and just really not really interested at all and losing all losing all interest and um, emotionally too. I feel like the outcome is of the three of pentacles. So this person is trying to like, I don't know, I feel like this person is trying to work with you in some way. Um, trying to work with you or work on this situation or fix something here. They're trying to work with the situation, but with this four of cups in reverse, I mean, at this point, it feels like they're making themselves do something here, right? That they don't want to do. So it's like they feel like they're making themselves do something that they don't want to do, whether they could be making themselves wanting to, like, if for some of you guys, this is a third party. So they could be making themselves wanting to be with someone else physically that they really don't want to be physical with. They could be making themselves want to lie down, have passion and, and, and attraction and something with someone who they're not really attracted to. So at this point, they're just really forcing themselves with the empress. They're forcing themselves to do something that they don't want to do. <laughs> this is sad. Someone here is forcing themselves to do something they don't want to do. Okay, I do feel like they want to work on the situation. Unrequited love just came out. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But it's weird because this is somebody who wants to keep the relationship going. They do want to keep to the relationship. I mean, I do see that they want to keep the relationship. So if this person has another person, baby mama, baby daddy, marriage, commitment, they want to keep that relationship probably because of the home life stability, the family, uh, the love, whatever there that was shared. But they are growing disinterested in that person physically, romantically, passionately. They just, at this point, they're laying down. They have no interest for this person. It could be because this person doesn't, they have grown into the role of just being a mother. They don't really invest in themselves. They don't keep themselves up. They don't, like, come on, like, put something into yourself. Like, your life is not just children or, you know, you being a homemaker or whatever. Someone needs more than that. They need to spice this relationship up. And if this is you, Pisces, then this is what they feel about you. And you're like, I love you, but you're you're like, uh, I'm not going to keep begging or communicating or trying to tell you something because you could want something here, but you're blocking it. <laughs> um, this person is really wanting to fix this. I feel like they love you. They care about you, Pisces, or they have love for you or emotions for you or feelings for you. And they really want to continue to work on this. But with the eight of wands here. Um, they may not be expressing this or communicating this. This could also be a Virgo that is really like inclined to you spiritually inclined to you fascinated with you in some way um open to you in some way they may not be communicating that because they have another situation here but yeah three of pentacles with the eight of pentacles you could have met this person at work um or some type of hobby or construction or whatever whatever you guys some type of hobby interest this could be in the church i don't know where the hell you met this person it feels like something here where you guys have the same interests hobbies jobs career but anyways yeah they're missing an opportunity here with you um pisces uh, because i feel like they could really be trying to fix their other situation their other relationship they could be really trying to work on that situation but i do feel like they have some feelings for you or emotions for you but they're not really communicating it to you because of the other situation all right give me one card here spirit what is the message that i need to give to uh, my pisces in regards to this virgo what is the message i need to give to my pisces in regards to the virgo one card for the month of October, what is the message that I need to get to my Pisces? Yeah, getting to know each other, Pisces, getting to know each other. Um, as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So I really feel like this person, um, sorry, I'm staying on fly. I really feel like this person really, um, if this is a third party situation, I feel like this person does want to get to know you more. I feel like they want to conversate more with you, talk with you more, but they're they're not. Um, I accidentally paused the reading, but I feel like they're not. So they're not choosing to um, 
congr- discuss feelings or emotions. They're taking a break from you. They're not really, um, they're not communicating. They're, they're, they're less and less uh, effective here with their communication. Um, but I do feel like I feel like they do feel there's a bond here with you guys. Like there's a soulmate, soul connection, uh, uh, definitely a soul bond here. They feel like they like bonding with you. They like spending time with you. Um, They feel like you guys have a deep connection in some way, Um, a deep emotional connection, a deep spiritual connection. They feel like you guys really bond on a really um, spiritual level or on some type of level here where it's like you you know them like you they feel like you know you get them and they get you um but i do feel like someone um really really wants to continue to get to know you on another deeper level and i feel like they may not even but they may not be communicating as much about it or or opening up to you as much about this someone needs to express to the other person what they need out of this relationship um because Even if they do have a spiritual connection with you, a deep bond with you, um, this person is still feeling like they need something else. They they want to really um they I feel like they really want to loosen up and express more stuff to you about what they're feeling and what they're going through. Um, So yeah, I do feel like that or what they're feeling in regards to you. Give me one question. I mean one question. One more card. Give me one more card. We're just getting to know each other. This person is very much interested in you. Mm-hmm. Give me one more card. We're just getting to know each other. All right. Yeah, soulmate. Yeah, this is definitely a soulmate. Um, and then we have religious factors here. So, yeah, this is something spiritual. Uh, yeah, this person has a, a deep bond with you, a soulmate bond. So for some of you guys, I feel like whoever this Virgo is, they may have a baby mother that they're involved with or somebody who they have kids with or a wife or a husband, but it could be a baby mama or a baby daddy. They are not attracted to that person. This person doesn't, this person doesn't do it for them anymore. And they feel more drawn to you. They want to get to know you. They feel a soulmate connection with you. They feel a deep bond with you. Yes, this is your soulmate. As you reveal your inner cells to each other, your bond deepens. They feel more drawn to you. Um, but at the same time, they could be trying to block what they may be, what they have been doing. They're trying to like block these emotions and feelings, block what all this, they're just trying to like really block it. They're, they're not progressing towards you in the month of October the way that you want them to. They're kind of withdrawing, but they're still, they're withdrawing from you, but still drawn to you at the same time. I also get this energy where this person could be looking for you, like they're looking for you or maybe looking for you, looking forward to seeing you or looking for you, maybe at work for some of you guys, but they're looking for you or looking forward to something here with you. Um, And maybe they always they were looking forward to seeing you or something like this, but they're not communicating something here. This person really feels like you are their soulmate. They feel like they really have a deep bond with you, something very spiritual. I said that they were feeling spiritual, spiritually drawn to you in some way. And I do see that there's an, an interest here with someone else. I feel like someone's trying to make themselves passionate about somebody who they're not passionate about. And I feel like they feel like they're going to miss an opportunity with you. Uh, because it's like they're trying to work. Someone is really trying to fix and work on something that they're not interested in. That's all I can say. Um... They're just no longer, they, someone no longer have interest here. It's almost like falling out of love with someone too, but, so you'll know if this is you or you'll know if you're the third party and this is about to be coming up or happening in the month of October.